Welcome to Panzer Guns and Ammo. Uh, Churchill car. Uh, shorty shotgun. Shockwave type deal. Guys, welcome back to Panzer Guns and Ammo. We're on the range today again. Uh, today we're gonna go, we're gonna have a quick, uh, a quick look, uh, first impression about my uh, Akar Churchill Shockwave uh, edition with the bird grip. Uh, if you've seen my unboxing and some other videos, I do mention I have a full stock for this one. I came with in the package, uh, but today all we have is this. Um, a lot of my viewers, and myself included, was actually very curious about the bird grip. Um, uh, the bird handle type grip here, uh, and see how it works. As you can see, I did I did just try it a little bit on range, and I am uh, missing a glove. Yes, because the first time I fired, the freaking shotgun uh, slid a little bit, and I didn't have positive positive grip on, on it, so I decided to remove the glove. Uh, much better without the glove. So. Just keep that in mind. Um, it does. Um, it does have a little bit of a of a kick. Uh, what am I shooting? I did try some uh, uh, two and three quarters, seven and a half uh, Winchester, and some uh, score uh, double up box shot uh, and two three quarter. So uh, there's no problem. I can hold on to the gun, no issue. But uh, it, it is different. And uh, I would highly consider, uh, recommend that if you uh, buy one of these type shotgun, start with a small load like I did, the bird shot, and just get a feel for it. This is not a, it doesn't fire like a normal shotgun, let's just put it this way. So, uh, so today, try to shoot a little bit the steel plate with the bird shot. Uh, uh, we'll do a few buck shot, uh, and I'll try, I'll try in two and three quarter uh, slug. At least one, just to see what uh, what it feels like. Not that this this is not my intent to fire a slug out of this thing, uh, but uh, yeah, I want to try it just in case. I want to see what it what it feels like. But uh, buckshot, definitely. I want to fire some buckshot out of that and try to see if I can. Uh, we got some paper target. We'll see what what kind of what kind of aim I can get at, like uh, you know, a twenty feet type uh, distance and a closer one. I want to try a close range and I want to try a twenty feet uh, distance. So stay tuned, uh, it's going to be a lot of shooting today, so alright. Okay guys, so uh, we're going to go ahead, uh, we're going to load the shotgun with uh, some uh, bird shot here. So if you've watched my other videos, you know that is a, uh, for a two and three quarter you can put the five uh, shell in a magazine and then one in the chamber. As I mentioned before, uh, this is a very uh, low cost shotgun. I think that's that was, yeah. That is a very low cost shotgun, and uh, it does feel pretty good. Uh, I mean, too old to rack. Uh, it, it feels like it feels good. I must say. So uh, my first few shot with it were <laughs> were an adjustment. I'll call it this way. But uh, let's fire some more and see if uh, if this was a good buy. Okay guys, we're really not that far away. We're about 10 feet from the steel, steel gong over there. So uh, let's just try a few bird shot. Didn't want to get used to the gun, that's all. All right, so hold tight. Try the hip. Woo, I hit the hip, look at that. There we go, another one. And aiming, and I miss. All right, this is a pretty fun shotgun. It's actually quite fun at the hip, and surprisingly, uh, I hit twice and the other ones weren't too far off. So that is quite uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, all right, let's, uh, I'll go a little bit more and try some more shots. Got it again. We got five more bird shot. And I'll try aiming this time around though. Okay, 
So the one thing I can tell you, much better without glove or make sure you have very grippy gloves. Uh, second thing, uh, make sure that you're fully extended. I got like short stubby arms so uh, it's kind of difficult for me. I really need to be fully extended on the, my left arm. Uh, I did hit myself a little bit with my, uh, my thumb here on the left. That thing hard. I'm, I have very good uh, control on the weapon but still I'm just saying. So make sure you're fully extended. And uh, yeah, you could totally aim. I hit the target a few times. So um, even though they don't recommend if they recommend fire at the hip, uh, you can totally aim with this thing. Uh, yeah, not bad. All right, guys, I got uh, some uh, two and three quarter box shot from scoring there. So let's see, uh, let's see what it does. All right, let's go. can hear the ping on the target, so I totally can aim. Missed that one. Another hit, and a little bit of a flinch, but that's okay. So, <laughs> it does rock. It does rock the wrist a little bit, but otherwise, it's uh, it's actually quite fun. <laughs> Alright folks, I got some uh, box shot in there. We're about 8 feet away. So I'll be trying the first target and the second target to the life, to the left, bottom left, uh, about at eight feet away, and let's see what kind of pattern we get. So, first shot. Uh, we did, did fire a few shot here. First shot, totally miss up there. Uh, then this one was dead center. Uh, very nice, actually, uh, pattern for the buckshot. And then you can see another one here and another one there. Uh, so out of five, and there's some here. Um, it might just be a Y. So, but anyways, you can see, so you can see a little bit kind of pattern you can get, if you can put it on target. Uh, it is, it is a little difficult to aim, I won't, I won't lie, and uh, I did, the first shot, uh, I did totally the recoil, messed me up, and it went totally up there. So, just something to keep in mind. Uh, here it is, a slug. So, we've doubled the distance. We're about, uh, I'd say probably, uh, we're at least 20, 25 feet away. I'll be shooting the right uh, bottom target. Let's see if I can, I can put it on. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't see it anywhere on the target, so that's no good. <laughs> right, guys, I'll try it again. Another, another, uh, oh yeah, another slug. Okay, this one went on target, and I think it's in the middle of the cardboard. So, booyah, right where it went, and I was aiming for here. Uh, I would not be I would not be firing slug out of this thing unless you get way way more practice um, yeah I think I'll stick with s buck we'll try a few buck shots at this distance though see if I can hit Guys, the target got some uh, five buck shot 20 25 feet away uh, I'm gonna try the bottom right target let's see if we can put a few uh, a few on it let's try uh, actually I want to try a, a hit one first uh, and that's a miss all right, that's a hit. That's a hit. Nope. And that's it. We're empty. Let's go see uh, damages. I don't think it's very really good. This went all over the place. So I did one uh, out of six shell. Uh, one was at the hip. Did not hit. Uh, it was totally in the uh, the sandbank behind. Uh, we got some hit here, uh, but this is starting to be uh, a little tricky, uh, as you can see. Got, uh, I think I get, I don't, know, I think I hit here too. So I think I was all over the place, really. So, um, so yeah, that might be pushing the envelope again with practice. I'm sure I could get much better at this. 
Uh, definitely a fun little shotgun, but I think uh, 25 feet might be pushing it for uh, for this kind of shotgun. So uh, we'll go a bit closer, try a few more uh, shell on that target, and see if we can hit it. Okay, guys, we're at a about 10 feet uh, situa uh, distance. This would be about a plausible situation in a dwelling security situation. <laughs> so uh, let's try it, see how much we can put on target. All right, ready, aim. Empty, oh that's good, all right. Go see that. That was much better. So 10 feet would be a decent distance to engage semi-accurately. So this is the kind of pattern I got on uh, on everything here. It's all over the target, but it is on a target. So uh, yeah, take it uh, take it as you wish. Uh, I think any further than 10 feet becomes a lot more difficult. Slug is very hard to aim. Bird shot dispersion would be horrible, and buckshot that's what you're looking at all over at 10 feet. So, eh, take take what you want out of this little test, but uh, definitely uh, should be able to do better with more practice. It does take a toll on the hands. Uh, my old uh, arthritis hand, hands are uh, really feeling it right now. You need to hold on to that shotgun, like, really, really good. Had a hard time with gloves, so I had to remove my gloves. So either you get some very grippy gloves, or uh, you go with your hands. I hope right. you've enjoyed this uh, little uh, little first impression uh, video of my Akar Churchill uh, shockwave style shotgun. Uh, it is a fun little shotgun to fire. Hey, I fired quite a few shells, and it's still it's still together. So I mean, for a inexpensive shotgun, I'm uh, pretty happy with it. So, uh, a few a few points that I've noticed today, though, uh, you need to hold on to that little puppy. Like I don't know if uh, I'm uh, firing stuff that's too hot, but uh, I would probably order some low recoil stuff for this uh, shotgun uh, in the future, definitely. Uh, it has taken a stall in my hands. Uh, my grip is kind of done right now. Uh, <laughs> so, and I did I did lose uh, grip a little bit. Of the forehand a few times i've hit myself on the lip a few times when you're aiming it so be very careful nothing bad it's just my thumb is touching slowly on the recoil nothing nothing hurt nothing I, mean, I always have very i always have a good control over the weapon but just just be aware for an inexperienced shooter uh, not holding it properly and don't forget i got like short stubby arms so if you got longer arms it might be better for you but um yeah, just keep this in mind the first time you fire it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you've all seen those videos on YouTube, right? Shotguns flying and open lip, so you don't want to be that guy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, so all, all in all, uh, good trigger. Uh, not, uh, not too much uh, pulling trigger, it was responsive. Uh, it's a very, very light pull though, just be aware. And uh, the racking, the action is actually smooth for this type of shotgun. Like, look at this; it's, it's it goes well. I had no uh, no malfunction. There was no uh, no failure to feed or eject or anything. So, no, nope. seriously, guys, very good first impression. Uh, this would make a great uh, backpack uh, shotgun or a dwelling a security shotgun. All right, um, hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Don't forget to uh, like and comment and share this video. Uh, I need your support. Um, my channel is doing good, but I need your support, guys. So um, I hope I'll see you in the next one. This is Spencer Gonzanamo signing out. Cheers. So this is what we have here in the box. So you have this stock, as I said. There's some screws in there. To uh, set it all up, you have this scabbard. Um, it does come with some loops here. You got some bigger loops in here. Um, not bad. I mean, like I said, I'm actually glad I have it, especially for what I'm going to be doing with uh, the shotgun. And then we have the shotgun right here. This one is the model with the silver coat on it. 
Um, I'm hoping it's going to be a bit more. Uh, this, this one is the more expensive of the other option. You can get black, some sort of green and uh, brown, I think. Um, yeah, this is 